Be in high school. Teacher notices I'm lurking TG and asks if I want to join a D&D club. Hell yeah. Asks if I have any experience with Pathfinder. <laughs> of course, I've been GM'd a few times. I actually played one entire session before this. Cool. See you Friday and on. We need a second GM. Study harder than I ever did for school. Three random cool dudes. Gunslinger, sorcerer, cleric. Femme autist. Hero of our story. Tiefling but looked human outside of horns and bright yellow eyes. Bard, self-entitled, enchantress. Quest to hunt a large wolf-like creature that have been devouring livestock. Head into stereotypical misty woods and start looking. Femme autist says they must find the den. Party. Why? Femme autist. That's where the alpha would be. Horror movie mode activates. Loud growls. A figure moving in the darkness. Narrate a massive beast of muscle and claw, fangs and fur, standing in the moonlight. Femme autist. Is it male or female? Me. Uh, it's male? Weird, but whatever. Fight begins. Decently one-sided. Nobody remembered to bring silver. Gunslinger and sorcerer get a cool plan. Throw a jar of gunpowder at it and set it off with a spark. Deafens the wolf and gives them a few turns to run. Feminon stops and tells the others to keep going and she'll hold it there. Party is confused, but would rather not stop to discuss this. Wish her luck. Werewolf smashes through the bushes. She gets her ready to action. I cast unnatural lust. What? <laughs> Why is it a waste turn into this? You Why did we what? know this was what was going to happen? Know. You fucking what? <laughs> Werewolf feels. I put myself as the target of its lust. Hmm? <laughs> I get down to my back and await him. What? Hmm? <laughs> Meanwhile, the other group is about ten feet away at another table. Desperately look back at the spell. Realise she never fucking read the actual effect. The lichen curiously approaches and plants a few licks on your face. I laugh and kiss its muzzle, petting its head. Hold back the vomit. End your turn? Yes. One round has transpired. The spell ends. Peck related. Okay, like all I'm gonna Christ. all I'm gonna say is like you know, I don't know about you, but like they're in school, so like you know what what age they max eighteen? Club. I'm gonna assume there's like a chaperone, so there's gonna have to be like a teacher there or something. Listen to this. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Horny eighteen year olds get the boink. All right. <laughs> Horny eighteen year olds got no, Go no on. more. This is furry bait, and I know it's furry bait. Stand outside in the hallway yeah. until I speak to you. <laughs> we kicked out my last GM because he kind of threatened to rape the only female member of our group. How does this happen so often? He was a fucking <laughs> weirdo as well. Well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, like you know, that goes that goes without saying. I'm, I'll be honest with you. But how does this pop up? Like you know, so often. So often, like you know, why? Why is it? I know. Okay, you know the thing is, like you know, when it comes to role playing games, a lot of time, like you know, a bit of role playing, better you know, getting into character, all that jazz. But this sort of stuff just. I don't know. I've never personally came in contact no. with it, but I read about these stories. I, I, I read about these stories enough that it seems to be more common than, than what I think it is. Yeah. Started out normal, but over our 2019 campaign, he literally became radicalized in real time and became an IRL pull tard, introducing modern political allegories into our campaign until it got to the point where he was literally putting real modern politicians into it. He basically forced us to fight these politicians and people he didn't like and made us describe how exactly we finished them off. It was clear he really liked thinking about killing these people. His campaign was also really over the top, like literally fighting over a river of corpses of absorb aborted babies. Liver <laughs> <laughs> sticks type. <laughs> over aborted babies Planned Parenthood has murdered <sighs> in a medieval fantasy setting. I mean, like, if you really want, like, you could maybe do something like, you know, the liver sticks. Yeah. You know, like, uh, the liver of the dead, yeah. stuff like that. Uh, uh, like, uh, well, well, look, let's, let's dissect this after the post, will yeah. we? We absolutely hated the campaign, but half the group didn't want to get rid of him because, to be honest, they didn't want to make enemies of people. Especially since he was in a lot of our classes at college. <laughs> I don't want to make enemies with the local fucking crazy. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's like, look guys, I'm in too deep, okay? I'm in too deep. I can't just back out now. <laughs> he almost got our group kicked out of the public library, where we did our sessions in the evening, by making racist remarks. 
and started berating and insulting the players, especially the girl in our group, calling her an ogre and a slut, even outside of sessions. What really got him kicked out was when he turned up high on heroin. What the? Whoa. (laughs) That took a turn and tried to sell it to us halfway through the game and get visibly angry when we refused. Then after a while of being really agitated and sort of seething whilst barely being a GM, he said to our girl, Did you know that if a girl gets raped, the police don't do anything? It's hard to prove and they always blame the girl anyway. They're always with the rapist. I bet you wish you were raped, huh? What? (laughs) Just keep going. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this after, right? After that, we just left the session and went home. The girl in our group was understandably upset, but we ended up getting over it and moving to my friend's house instead of the library. Our former GM got kicked out of college. Last I heard, he died of a drug overdose a few months back. Okay, where where do you want to start, Megan? Where do you want to start? This one's actually so fucking bizarre and out there. I have no idea. It's mit- oh, You've got so many different elements of play here. It's quality. I don't right. even know what to talk about. There's so much fucking happening. Right. So the first bit. The first bit. Right. I'll, I'll I'll go into this first of all. So one of the big ones I always complain about is when people inject politics into oh, role playing yeah. games. Right. And I've actually got this quite a few times in the in in uh, the comment section. People being like, "Oh, people that say." I don't want politics in my games just means you don't You don't understand politics. It's like, no. Look, no. We understand politics enough to not have it in the game. Yeah. Like enough. you know, um just because you don't like some SJW politics does not mean um pull tier stuff isn't also mm. pretty fucking and cringe sitting at, at a, times. Sitting at a table with um some like people who are like really left wing and then there's other people maybe really really right wing. Yeah. I don't want to sit at a table with politics involved yeah, with them. Coming, I just want to yeah. play a fucking game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so where, like, you know, uh, what next? I don't know how the fuck they even, like, I don't know how that group stayed together for so long. Uh, I actually kind of hope it's fake. I hope it's I, fake. I, I honestly hope, I hope this is, I hope this is I a fake story. I couldn't sit in a room with somebody that see me and my anger. Oh, uh, yeah. No, you, you'd I be, couldn't. no. Shut the fuck up. What, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? Um... Holy fuck, guys! I, I have no idea. I, I, what are your thoughts I, on it? What are your thoughts on this? Below. Oh, yeah, let us know down below. Jesus Christ! Next post. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Pathfinder. One player's a samurai. Speaks with the most blatantly racist accent. Put you me. Thinks he's just thinks he's just doing a bit. Laugh. Turns out he's 100% serious. Drags this shit out the whole session. Whenever the subject of payment is brought up, he demands his horse get an equal share. Keep telling us out of character that this is how real samurai were, despite nobody fucking asking. (laughs) Dude wasn't even a weeb. He was a massive scandaboo for crying out loud. I mean, that's pretty funny, to be honest with you. (laughs) Like, I, I I think that's comedy gold, especially you if you like you know, especially if he's like trying to be. No, this is a serious accent, guys. What are you on about? <laughs> what, what are you What are you guys talking about? No, this is this is why. What What are you on about? Come on. <laughs> Have a player in my party. He turns out to love lollies. Yay! He tricked our DM with the old "she's this many years <laughs> old and elfier." He's not heard about this at this stage. He's actually not heard about this at this stage. Like, come on, guys! See oh. the second someone says, "Oh yeah, uh, yeah," she just appeared. she looks like a seven year old, but actually, actually she's like a, like five hundred and ninety ten. <laughs> oh please, like guys, if you ever hear someone say this unironically, you know exactly what they're up to. I know. So he tricked our DM with the old she's this many years old in elf years in order to play as an underage girl in our recent campaign. Unfortunately, we didn't figure this out until after he proceeded to flirt with a 35-year-old NPC in hopes of having his character sleep with him. When we found out the math was wrong, the DM immediately called the player out and said, No lollies! And promptly made the character canonically 18 and has ceased NPC flirtation with the character to be sure there's no nonsense. That sadly didn't stop the player from drawing porn <laughs> of his lolly character, though. Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> you know, there was a lolly really good... You know what? The, uh, the last time we were talking about lollies and... Oh, yeah, you, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. There was, there was a, a, a fella in the comments. comments. There was a fella in the, the comments. comments. And if you're watching, 
fuck you. <laughs> there was a fella in the comments. He says, J- I'm going to put you guys straight. Uh, drawing underage um, children is not... Uh, Pedophile? No, it's not. I, I don't know. They were, they were, pedoph- like, they were kind of justified. And all like, this. And it, I'm like, yeah. Well, <laughs> what I'm saying is, if they draw them in a sexual manner, or if they draw them to sexualize them, that is pedophilia to me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, Regardless, the, if it's just a drawing, I, you're still I, drawing I, fucking kids. I, I think. The, I think the argument was it was like the same way as us, like. Their idea of us, of us calling people that are into that type of stuff pedophiles is like watering down the word pedophile because it's kind of like, you know, the way people use the word Nazi over the past like five years or so and like it gets thrown about and the word Nazi has completely lost mm-hmm. any value. Mm-hmm. He says like doing that will no, create I'm still the same call, I'm still going to call you pedo. <laughs> yeah, pretty, <laughs> much, pretty pedo. much. Next post, guys, will we? Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. D&D 5th edition. Femme DM. Party doesn't much matter, but is a male human barbarian, dragonborn paladin female, changing bard, human 14 year old rogue, at least in the player's case this wasn't a fetish thing, he was just blatantly ripping off Le- Levi from AOT. No, I don't know, play some anime. I don't know. Job to deal with a bandit bitch and her merry band of fucktards. Get there and it's more of a bandit army. Sneak over to a slave emptying the latrines and ask what's up. Lore dump, lore dump, <laughs> <laughs> lore dump of her rises to par, taking over rival bandit groups, started calling herself a knight, gearing up to be an obvious big bad for our low level group. She comes out to address her trips. We concoct a plan to set the sleeping tents on fire whilst this is happening and send the barbarian slash rogue after her. She kicks their asses and the rest of us run out of the camp. Barbarian is banged up and left tied to a post in the middle of the camp. Rogue is dragged and thrown into your tent. The little bastard is kicking and biting the whole way. She walked over and stepped on his groin, leaning down and starting to pull off her top. Oh, God. Oh. That was a very excited... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <Was that? laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Step on me. <laughs> Cock and ball torture. <laughs> I'd never forget that time Gus said, oh, you know what? I'd actually be into cock and ball. No, you would not. <laughs> no. Stop it. No. Right, okay. Don't be afraid. Every knight needs her squire. Rule 20 fully text-based game. And the barbarian puts in, I don't really think I'm comfortable with this. <laughs> <laughs> Fem GM says it's not his character and that he shouldn't be uncomfortable for other people. Rogue player agrees this is fucking weird and he came here to be a dumbass kid who tries to act edgy to be cool. Knock it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's everyone's intention to just not get <laughs> not molested. Get I don't want to get molested, guys. I'm sorry. Game ends there and I don't know if it continued because I left the game. Coomers are bad regardless of gender, but girls seem to do it twice as hard. Be honest with you, Megan, we have done quite a few stories and I think if we were to make like a top ten list, it would of, be the girl. I, I think the I think the girl commerge could make a solid t- top three. Yeah, I think we could easily make a top three. Yeah, list. I think so too. Should we do this, guys? Actually, do you want do you want to make a neckbeard your top ten? Top ten commerge. M- top ten commerge list because we have done so many of these at this point yeah, we that could. I think we could do it pretty solid. Yeah. What would you guys put down below? I would put in Larry the transgender leapist. He was pretty high for me. Mm-hmm. Do you remember there was a two parter yeah. one? He was a pretty good one. No, well, look, you guys let us know down below if you have any. And who would be on your Kumar list? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I know it doesn't really compare to any of the stories in here, but I'm going to post it anyway. Friend has been cobbling together a custom setting. Just a fun little thing at first, but it begins growing quicker because I start helping him by spitballing ideas. Eventually get it going enough to do a game of it. It's his setting, so obviously he should DM. Initially fun, but then the main villain shows up. The villain is his main OC, but seeing as he's killed off other characters of his before this, didn't seem like a problem. First time party is overpowered and forced to flee. This is fine since it 
kind of set up to the rivalry. Except it keeps happening. Every time he finds a way to beat him, he just bullshits a new way not to lose. Had amnesia and beating him cleared his head so he remembers how to fight and BTFO everyone. Opens up a rift to hell or something where he gets some scythe that belongs to his grandpa. Oh my god, I can feel it. Making him even stronger. (laughs) (laughs) Kills some guy he introduced as basically the chosen one to kill him. When he finally ran out of ideas, he just claims nobody outside his OC's bloodline can kill him, and he already killed all his family. What broke the camel's back was that he was starting to introduce alternate reality versions of his OC. I feel like I was tricked into playing this personal power fantasy. It sounds like a power fantasy. Yeah, it does. It sounds like you got tricked. You know know what makes me really sad? I'm actually a really big fan of alternate reality. Mm -hmm. I love multiverse stuff and all. The problem is, see, whenever it's applied to role-playing games, it's always just a bad idea. I have yet to see it be done in a way that isn't very cheap. Yeah. Do you, do you know what I mean? I don't know. If there's a, any way out there that you guys have come across where alternate reality isn't hyper cringe, let us know, because yeah. I would really enjoy that. Helping players set up a character for a new campaign. Pathfinder. A few want to try some third-party shit, and I felt confident enough to try and fit them. One player is extremely specific on a variety of things. More or less wants to be a half-dry, half-unknown that got ditched in the snow before being raised by one of those Jap snow ghosts. Yuki Una. Uh, I think I've heard about them, actually. Weird, but that's no issue. No, I'm telling you right now. See, when a player wants to be half this, half that, half whatever. No. It's a bad <laughs> idea. Wants to be more or less a sorcerer, but uses seals. Like those pictures of paper on Chinese vampire faces. Oh, yeah. That, oh, yeah. That's actually kind of, yeah, like that. That's kind of cool concept. Pretty much pure fluff, except he can technically have his spells stolen from him. Also wants a child. The only remains of the Yuki Ona that raised him. Wants the kid to be an OP tool, practically. Yuki Ona stats and abilities just with half the HP, cause child. Why do you not just give him like a familiar? Make, yeah. it, make it like a familiar, but yeah. just like uh, turn it up? Yeah. Would only listen to him, and they would speak a dialect of common, only they both could understand. A dialect of common? You mean like a pretty harsh accent? Yeah. Like, oh, somebody! Like, oh, oh, I! <laughs> like, oh, my! <laughs> Absolutely no one. I know. <laughs> Everyone thinks we're Scottish, for fuck's sake. Getting weirder, but hey, I'll kick him if shit gets bad enough. Bring up how Pathfinder describes Yuki Ona more curious as to how he will justify it. I'm taking this from the ending of a hentai. <laughs> my face went... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like, at least he's being honest with you. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck. Uh, you know, no, no, actually, that's that. You know what? At least he's being straight up. He's like, you know, no, actually, I got this from a hentai. Like, you know, at least he's not like, oh yeah, no, this is my total OC. Do not steal. I definitely <laughs> didn't steal this from anywhere. Yeah, no, I mean, I just, I, I just got that from hentai, mate. You know. Stop it. GM spineless card. PC witch. Le ran- the random, ass- the random asshole, but still a friend. Finish a quest, and the village reveals they lied about the reward. Quest was to clear out an iron mine that was overrun with undead and a wannabe necromancer. Quite low level stuff, considering we are all about level 9 in Pathfinder. Party is a bit annoyed, but understands that they assumed we wouldn't help otherwise except two players, one being the witch. Witch says they want to help with a ritual in return takes out a book of rituals we got way earlier in the campaign from a demon cult. Village obviously refuses. We leave. Random asks us to wait a bit as he flies back to the village. Flies about 600 feet above. I take out one of the gold coins they give us. I cast major creation. (laughs) (laughs) My face when he creates a 9 by 9 foot cube of pure gold. My face when he rode from gods the entire village and flattens it. My face when I was the other player who was angry at not being paid enough. Although it was the funniest shit all night, my GM needs to learn to say no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that's that's pretty funny. I like that. that that's a pretty solid... Yeah, it is. That's a pretty solid way to fuck with NPCs <laughs> that are just like, yeah, do you want to do this quest first? Um, how much is it? Way below your pay grade. <laughs> Please. No. 
Well, I have to say, some of them were a bit rough, like, you know. Some of them were funny, though. Some of them were pretty funny. Most of them were a bit rough. <laughs> Most of them were a bit rough. I really did appreciate the anime one, or not the anime one, sorry, the hentai one. Yeah. Just because at least he was being straight up with it. <laughs> like, there was no arson about. There was no, like, hey, hold on a minute. We get what you're on. But no, he's just being like, yeah, no, I got it from I took it from a hentai. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you know what? At, the, at this point, I appreciate that. I appreciate his. Yeah. Uh, Honestly. Level. Yeah. And I, I like that because there's yes. too many times now that we've came across this where people are like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, oh, lollies, that type of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm not, you know, they're actually a lot older, you see, so I'm actually not a pedophile. You get what I'm on about, guys? Uh, you know, it's like, you know, they really are trying to hide it. And it's like, come on, we, we know exactly what you're up to at this exactly. stage. We know. We've been through this before. Exactly. But if you have any of your own stories, let us yeah. know down below because I love reading them. Yeah. I can't think of any good like horror stories. Uh, there's only one that I've had, but that was about a year and a half ago and that's far too long of a story to yeah. tell here and now. It was more just the DM was being awkward. And, yeah. But then again, the guy was a bit spurgy on it and I'm a bit <laughs> spurgy, so maybe it was just two uh, personalities clash. Maybe yeah. that was what it was. But while you're here, go and check the links. Go and check out our models, our t-shirts, all our subclasses as well. Oh, They're yeah, listed we some, on the website. Yeah. Um, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're here so you get notified every also, time we post. Oh, here, before we forget, you're uploading another video, aren't you? Yes, I'm uploading a video today. today. It will be. This video will be out on, on Sunday. Sunday. So this yeah, so we're going to be... Yeah. So after this, go, go ahead. check out my channel if you want to get a spooky Sunday session. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Just check it out. You might be into it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like as always, hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you later. Bye.